Since its opening in 2006, the UAE Space Center has launched a number of Earth observation satellites. But in 2017, the government announced the UAE Astronaut Program, designed to pivot towards the more ambitious goal of space exploration. In 2018, Sultan Al Nayedi and Haza Al Mansouri were selected from around 4,000 applicants. And after intensive training, Haza took on the UAE's inaugural mission to become the first Emirati to go to space in liftoff. Alex Kropochka, Jessica Mirhaza, Ali Al Mansouri leaping forth from Gagarin start on their way to the International Space Station. In September 2019, he traveled with a Russian-led crew on board the Soyuz MS-15 spacecraft and spent eight days on the International Space Station, the first astronaut from the Arab world to do so. You are the first Emirati into space, but also the first Arab on the International Space Station. So much time has passed since that historic moment. Is it really sinking in just yet? Yes, it is, but uh, still, you know, we see the momentum of that event. Always we tell our nation here and the whole world that what happened three years ago, it was like a pole of flight to the United States and to the whole world. And uh, really, I'm, I'm really honored to have that privilege to be the first one on board the International Space Station as an Arab and also uh, to be the first from my country. The effect of that mission is still going on and we can see it in, in our kids and not only in the United Arab Emirates, but in the whole region. You are one of 4,000 applicants to enter the UAE space program. Of course, before that, you were in the Air Force. Tell me about that application process. Coming from an avi aviation background, this gave me a lot of things that really important for this type of job, uh, to be like uh, systematic and to work in an environment with the people from different countries, different mindsets. This is really important for this type of job. So. Uh, Without any hesitation, I applied and I went through the whole process, uh, medical, uh, psychological tests, and we went actually to Russia to do the final medical assessment. It was really uh, crucial and uh, I've been selected, uh, my colleague Sultan and myself, to be the first uh, astronaut to represent uh, this country and we started our endeavor. We went to Russia, we went to Star City and it was an amazing place place filled with historical events. We saw Yuri Gagarin. When I was a kid, I saw him in a book. And all of these heroes that gave me this push to keep going with my dream, I'm now working and training in the same place that they were there. So we started our pursuit to the first mission, 2019. And then you go through all of this training and you get closer to mission day, 25th of September, 2019. What about when you first took off and when you started to enter space? Tell me about the actual mission that you conducted while you were there. So launch itself, it's really um, amazing. And uh, at the same time, a lot of Gs. So we call it Gs, the weight of acceleration on your body. It's up to 5.5. Uh, it's continuous eight minutes and 57 seconds till you reach 200 kilometers, and bam, that's it. You will feel microgravity, everything will float. So for Jessica and I, it was the first time to experience the weightlessness, microgravity, to look outside from that small window at Earth at 200 kilometers, and knowing that it's gonna getting small and small as you go up to 400 kilometers to join the International Space Station. It was amazing feeling just to see the colors of our planet Earth and to appreciate what we have there. So it was amazing uh, feelings and just joining the rest of the astronauts and cosmonauts on board the International Space Station to conduct experiments, to conduct different events, outreach, to talk with our leaders from the International Space Station in Arabic and to talk with the kids to answer their questions. At the beginning when I was looking at the Earth, I was trying to pick where's my country. Mm -hmm. After a couple of days, I was looking at Earth and just looking continents, oceans. And after that, I was just watching Earth. It's amazing how sometimes we are divided down here, but up there, we are different people working together for one goal. 
how to make it a, a better place for us. And when you look at the, uh, the impact and the legacy of that mission, do you think it has raised the ambition of the entire Arab world, especially when it comes to areas like STEM, for example, or increasing the curiosity that young people have about space travel and getting involved in the sciences? Has it helped, do you think? Definitely, yes. One of the main objective of this uh, program, UAE Astronaut Program, and uh, the UAE or National uh, Space Program is uh, to, to, to build an economy based on knowledge and innovation. And nothing like STEM education is going to push that forward. If you want to develop and to advance your country, you have to focus in fields like space.